What happens in The Sims 4 when we turn on every lot challenge on one lot? To sum it up, chaos, hopefully, I mean, basically. <gasps> is everyone okay? This challenge is done by a few people before. I know James has done it, Kelsey has done it too, and we're gonna give it a go today. So here's the house that I built for this challenge nestled into Forgotten Hollow, looking slightly out of place. Sure hope no one uses that as a target. This is gonna be our main sim, Barley, who you may recognize she's actually from the making identical triplets look as different as possible video. These are her sisters over here, even though they don't live here. They're just hanging out. And then up here is where we're gonna find the challenges we're gonna use for today. I'm just gonna move my camera down a little bit so you guys can see them. So yeah, in build mode, if you click on this venue info button, then you're gonna be brought to lot info panel. And then over here is the traits panel. God, they're still freaking, okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm down here for the lesson. Okay, so in this panel, we've got traits here and we've got challenges. We're not gonna be too concerned about the traits over there today. So I'm just gonna leave those blank. And since I bought every pack in the Sims 4 franchise, RIP my bank account, I have all of them available here. Starting here, we have the Creepy Crawlies Challenge. For this one, it says, it seems that some creepy pests have taken up residence here. Be prepared, when they hit, you'll never see them coming. <laughs> I'm already scared. Then we have the Cursed Challenge. The only thing it says here is lots of things seem to go wrong here. Can't wait for that. We've got the Filthy Challenge from clogged sewers to grimy counters. This place seems to get dirty really Really quickly. We've got gremlins. Stuff breaks here a lot. It's like there are tiny goblins who come out at night and smash things, but that's ridiculous, right? Oh, so as you can kind of tell already, all of these are not desirable at all. We've got the grody challenge. Sims have a chance to get nauseous when eating, drinking, or using the bathroom. The off the grid trait. I'm probably the most familiar with this one, and I had to turn this entire build into an off the grid build for this. But basically this says this lot is not connected to the utility grid, and most objects that use power or water will not function as expected. And then it goes on to say, can your sim survive without the comforts of plumbing and electricity? Thank God for candles in this house. Natural living does have its advantages, such as no utility bills. Then we have the quake zone. Occasionally, there's a minor tremor here. Probably nothing to worry about. So basically, this allows earthquakes to happen on my lot, which I've never seen before. I'm quite excited about that. We've got the reduce and recycle. This one came with eco lifestyle. This lot generates compost and recyclable trash and outdoor cans are no longer bottomless. Actively managing the trash output is a must. Oh my God, I don't feel equipped. The simple living challenge, this lot requires ingredients to cook all recipes. So normally when you're cooking in The Sims 4, you don't need to get like your groceries to cook. It kind of just is there all the time. But for this one, you have to use like the grocery system and everything. Cooking with ingredients just makes food taste better. Ew. We've got the spooky trait. For some inexplicable reason, this lot attracts wandering ghosts. Spooky season is upon us. We have volcanic activity. If it hasn't been bad enough yet, this lot is near an active volcano. <laughs> Be aware of earthquakes, steam vents, and occasional lava bombs. Can I die from that? Never seen that happen either, so I'm very, I hope that happens. And finally, we have wild foxes. Wild foxes will appear on this lot, being a nuisance to your garden, chicken, and rabbits. Literally the least of my concerns out of all of these. The only one we don't have turned on is the landfill lot. This one does not apply to residential lots. You can only use it for specific like commercial lots and that doesn't apply today. So that's checked all the boxes. Let's resume. I wanna literally just attempt to live a normal life or uh, as normal as possible and let's do it. So I'm gonna have my Sim come into her house. This is the first time I'm showing you guys the inside of this house, which again, I had to make off the grid. So there's candles everywhere. I should probably start off by like getting some groceries because I'm gonna need some ingredients to cook. Ah, there it is. Okay, we're gonna order a delivery. We're gonna get groceries delivery or Zoomer's food delivery. I could just order pizza the whole time, but no, we'll be responsible. I'll order, oh, uh, <laughs> uh, let's just get one of everything. 3,200 simoleons. <laughs> I'm gonna need a job after this. Okay, hopefully now I have these supplies. I can cook my food. I don't really know why she's outside raging in the middle of the street, but it's probably not a good idea since we live surrounded by vampires. Empires. Let's find a job. Maybe something that works nights so I don't have to stay here. Hey, my grocery guy's here. Okay, my Sim has the hot-headed trait. She also is very creative. I think I'm gonna make her be a writer. Cool. Okay, and now we can get our groceries. Hopefully this guy is safe in this neighborhood. <laughs> He's like knocking on the door. I'm right here. Yeah, she's a creative hot-headed bookworm. So I feel like a writer is just like the job for her. This guy just dropped off my groceries and decided to stay. So I think I'm gonna give him a tip. Thank you. Don't forget to tip your 
their delivery service. And we're gonna go friendly introduction. Maybe we can make a friend. I feel like that's a nice gesture. You're sad. Maybe he's sad because he can feel the energy here. <laughs> I can imagine it probably feels pretty heavy. I need to get out of this bad mood. This build actually looks so pretty with all the candles. You can see them like out there too. And then upstairs is the same here. We've got some green and black color scheme going on. The candles, of course. This was intended to be for a gamer. So I had like a whole setup, but the off the grid didn't work. So I like to think that she found this house and transformed it into her own. This would be really cute if I didn't hear like whooshing sounds from like this scary neighborhood that I live in. I can see Vlad just like walking in the distance. You stay there, please. Okay, she's finally lost that bad mood. Hanging out here with Raul really helped us out. I placed all these little things around hoping that maybe it would make foxes come out a little more often. So I wanna go and see if I can see any of the bunnies in here. It is getting very late. Our delivery guy is probably like, okay, can I go home from this creepy house? Actually, he doesn't seem to mind since he's flirting with me. That apron makes it all the more adorable. <laughs> oh God, the welcome wagon is here. Okay, I guess I'll say hi. Nothing has really happened here yet, but it really does feel like the calm before the storm a little bit. I feel nervous. I'm like waiting for something to happen. And typical welcome wagon fashion, here comes uh, Sachiko coming in hot to stand there and look creepy. I guess I'll say hello to you too. She's, she's using me for my pool, of course. Oh, it's starting to snow. Okay, at least we made a friend out of this. Okay, we're all going swimming. All right, it's snowing. Keep that in mind, everybody. <laughs> Y'all are wild. That looks so cold. Yeah, he's like, I'm out. You know what? I should probably go inside. Is she a vampire? What am I doing with a vampire? Stop everything. Let's go upstairs and go to bed. Let's just take the safe route, play it safe. Hope that nothing in my own house is out to get me. I think we're gonna, we're gonna rest on this one. We're gonna take a little sleep. Just gonna ignore the fact that while I'm sleeping, there is a vampire immediately below me. This looks so cute in the winter time too. Look at this. Is anyone else kind of excited for this? That looks so calming and cozy to me. <laughs> Might just be me. <laughs> the vampire update, she's gotten closer. And if I didn't know better, I would think it looks like she's really faking reading that book right now. Oh, she's leaving. I think I should get going now. I think so too. You know, I really do. We are up bright and early. We've made it to the bathroom safe and sound. I think I'm gonna try and make some breakfast while I can. Oh, actually we have our first problem here. Our Sim isn't feeling too good. She's feeling nauseated. Her stomach isn't feeling good from the lot trait. Oh, shoot. I didn't put away my groceries from last night. That's okay. I guess we're gonna have to place another order with our new friend here. Okay, she put them away safe and sound. Let's try and make some breakfast. I bought this here specifically because it cooks off the grid. So we can make a uh, grilled cheese for breakfast. No, eggs and toast would be the logical answer. Do we have a smoke detector? Okay, we do just in case. I can imagine fire starting pretty easily here. <gasps> yep, there we go, right on cue. Okay, move, move, move. It's go time, get out of there. Please don't just stand there. No, don't blow on it. Oh God, where's that vampire? No, get out of it, extinguish. Uh-oh, oh no, I'm literally on fire, help. <laughs> Put it out, Angel! Beat, please, come on, a little faster, please. Okay, I think I'm saved. It's really frustrating, yet kind of funny. How the Sims come in and they like smell the house before they put the fire out. Oh my God, poor Barley. I mean, can't say we didn't see this coming, honestly, but she's feeling extremely nauseated and singed from being on fire. So, you know, day, day one is not going too well. I am still hungry, but I doubt she wants to cook anything. So let's see if I can maybe get like a quick meal. We had some bread in the fridge from our grocery delivery. So we're just gonna have some of that and that's gonna be our breakfast today. All right, let's get our Sim to go and take a bath. Maybe that'll make her feel a little bit better. Her stomach might settle a little bit. Look at that snow outside. I want this for like a day. <laughs> that's it. Then Christmas can come and the snow can leave along with it. Work starts in an hour. Our, our poor Sim has developed a fear of fire. I am feeling a little bit inspired though from using the water off the grid, which is gonna actually benefit me in my career. So if we can use that to our advantage at least. Wait a minute, drat, it's bats. <laughs> Plasma bats at that. Oh my God. The winged horde sets their sight on barley. Oh my God, where are they? If only she was a bit more fit or had some plasma bat bait to distract them. But alas, there's nothing to be done but hope the bats move on after a few nips. Girl, you better get out of the house. Oh no, what's going on? Oh, <laughs> 
<gasps> Did they bite me? Being attacked by plasma bats? Am I gonna turn into a vampire? She would make a pretty cute vampire. I mean, I'm just saying. We're gonna put that book away. We're gonna hide our bat marks and we're off to work. Honestly, she's probably relieved. Oh, I noticed there's some little bunnies over here though. Look how cute they look in the snow. Do they leave footprints? Okay, this is cute. I haven't seen any foxes appear yet, but hopefully they stay far away. <gasps> An earthquake is happening while I'm at work. Oh, and there's fire over there. Oh no. <gasps> okay, our first earthquake happened and I wasn't home, but now this is here. What's this? There is something on fire in my front yard. That can't be good. Oh, and there's a fox. Oh my God, you better stay away. Oh no, back here, there are like little fire spots too. I hope the bunnies aren't in danger. Hey, Mr. Fox, you better stay away. I know you can upgrade like animal coops to add fox alarms and then that way the fox like stays away, but I don't think I can upgrade these. Maybe I can become friends with it and then tell it to go away when it attacks the bunnies. It's kind of cute. <laughs> my Sim is at work. I'm just like playing with the fogs. Where you going? Can it get in my house? No, it's just scoping out the area after the earthquake that just happened. All right, she's home from work. Let me go over here. Can I just like check this out? I'm gonna try and make a snow angel on top of the fire. What? Let's see. Okay, she's coming over. She doesn't seem too excited about it. Oh. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's good to know that those things aren't gonna hurt me, but I <laughs> it's coming right from, I don't think it should be coming from there. <laughs> what is happening? This girl is on fire. Okay, that was eventful. I mean, it's coming now for my snow angel. That's kind of cool. Proceeds to do it on every other like flaming thing on the ground. Oh my God, that fire even went through back here to my barbecue and another one. <laughs> I like to think that this girl is just kind of like asserting her territory. This is my home. I'm gonna turn these into snow angels. She's feeling a little dazed from being voodooed. I'm a, um, <laughs> who did that? Who the heck voodooed me? Barley feels strangely dazed as though she's hit her head. Maybe it's the fact that I'm doing snow angels over some volcanic activity, but you know, nah, couldn't be that. Yeah, this feels like a ritual. She's like, you know what? This place may be cursed, but I'm gonna make it my own. Okay, let's get inside. I saw Vlad kind of like creeping around. Let's go take care of our needs. Hopefully her being dazed doesn't affect her too much. And because she's dazed, I think I'm just gonna get some bread again. I'm too scared to attempt to cook anything today. I'm gonna let her just have a relaxing night in. There's frost covering the windows. We're just gonna read something. I have to do it for work anyway. Maybe we can get a promotion, get a little luck going. Our girl is like not doing good. She's cross-eyed. I keep trying to get her to eat, but she keeps like walking away from her plate. I was trying to get her to read too and same thing. She's just walking away from her tasks. She's not feeling right and you can tell. Someone is messing with my sim hard. Is there like anyone outside with a voodoo doll? What are you doing? That's a cell phone. I do see Lilith walking away in the distance though. And I do know from previous videos, she can be a troublemaker. She could totally see me through the window there if she wanted to. All right, couple hours of reading. I'm gonna let her read a little bit more and then we're going off to bed for the night. And she's feeling happy, which is a big step up from how I've been feeling all day. You guys ever get this glitch where there's an interaction just like stuck there? That happens to me literally literally every time I play. So I'm gonna save, go out to manage worlds and see if that solves the problem. Day two, she's off to work. Hopefully nothing happens to the house while she leaves again. Ooh, look at that waterfall in the background. This world is really pretty. It's too bad there's only like a few lots and nothing to do here. <laughs> Ooh, we got promoted. And Raul is calling me. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go to this. I do need a friend. I wonder if these lot traits are gonna affect me if I leave the house. I'm assuming not, but kind of wouldn't be surprised either if it did. The festivals that come with city living are always so cute. Raul has become a pretty good friend of ours. We're consoling him. I'm pretty sure someone in his family maybe passed away. Oh, and the bubble thing is over there. Don't mind if I do. They're having a good time. This definitely got her mind off of whatever has been going on. I did not know they got a cloudy moodlet from using the bubble blower. <laughs> I don't think we need to be any more dazed, but all right. They were watching the fireworks together being super flirty. The festival is over. I feel like I should give the Sim a quick makeover maybe. Like he doesn't always wear this, does he? Just a quick outfit change. This is his outfit for cold weather, hot weather, and every day. Okay, no. <laughs> He's got the cottagecore look going on, so definitely need like something for Henford on Bagley aesthetic. We'll get him just a very casual like base game shirt there. And for his everyday, this shirt from Werewolves is cute and kind of reminds me a little bit of like the other one that he was wearing. But as a second outfit, I'm still gonna let him wear his grocery delivery outfit. <laughs> and all right, there you go. Let's resume. I think I'm gonna send her straight to bed. I don't wanna have to worry about anything else going on here. And we're off for the next two days, which means we're stuck here in this house. <laughs> I think since I'm off today, I'm gonna invite over my sister 
characters. Oh, and Raul is outside. I mean, you can come in too. I don't know why these Sims like are automatically wearing this outfit. They're both wearing it. <laughs> They're coming in, checking out the house, having a little home warming here. Raul and Barley are becoming best friends, of course. And somebody lit my fireplace, which is a really bad idea in this house. This rabbit wants a gift. Maybe I can give you something. I don't have a whole lot. You can have this huckleberry. I'm sure the rabbit will probably like that, maybe. Not me inviting over company and I'm over there talking to the rabbit. The sisters look kind of evil in this outfit that they showed up in. I don't know what's going on there. I feel like they're like questioning him. Like there's a little bit of romance going on there, but nothing crazy. They haven't really acted on it. It's just kind of like been there. <laughs> I wonder if the sisters are picking up on that a little bit. Oh no, she's covered in bugs. Oh my gosh, I missed that in the background. <gasps> a fire. Oh my God, no, a fire. Where? Oh no, Charlie's on fire. Oh, please don't die. Oh God, this is really bad. <laughs> this is really bad. Someone needs to extinguish her. Okay, the fire alarm is going off. The fire department should be here. Extinguish. Anybody? No? Oh my God, why do they always smell the house? She's going to die. Okay, no, I think we're safe. I think we're safe. I don't know. She's just kind of standing there. There's a lot of fire. Oh God. All right, we're good. I don't know if you felt like being a brunette now, Charlie, but uh, looks like you don't have a choice. I'm gonna see if she maybe wants to like take a bath. Oh my God. Raul wants to take things to the next level. Will Barley be his girlfriend? Something about that traumatic experience just brought them together apparently. I wasn't really planning on going this way, to be honest. But if I say no, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna say no way. Um, <laughs> I feel bad, but also from what we just went through, she's probably not in the right headspace. I hope we don't have a negative interaction from that. <sighs> we do. Oh, I'm so sorry. Admire courage. I mean, given the fact that my sister almost just died right before my eyes, maybe it would have worked out under different circumstances. They're good. They're fine. They're just talking it out. There's another Oh my god. No, the other sister's on fire. Oh my god. Um, who lit the fireplace and why? Okay, extinguish. God, this is frustrating. Raul discovered the fire. We're all standing outside. That's not gonna put the fire out. Fire department, I'm really gonna need you guys to stay overnight, I think. Goodness. Okay, we're just gonna put this out. Marley over here trying to copy my look. Yeah, put that fire out, please. This is ruining the moment, the day, the night, the everything. I think I'm gonna go easy on our girl here today and we're gonna order some pizza. She's so mad. <laughs> At this point, I would assume her sisters are probably like, um, Barley, you should probably consider moving. Like, hey, you can come live with us if you want. This place is probably going to be the death of you. No, no, have you not learned? What are you doing? She's crazy, she's crazy. I totally forgot upstairs about this little pet that I've got. <laughs> the cage was dirty, everything was not okay. And now I'm super playful for like, I'm playing with it up the attention and activity because the last thing we need is this thing to kill us with that rabid like rodent fever or whatever you can get from that. I am feeling really playful though, so I need to be careful that I don't die also <gasps> from that. It bit me. It bit me. Oh, okay. We're gonna walk away from Bulbous. Uh... I think everyone else has left, so before we take that bath, I'm gonna put this fire out again. Oh no, we have attacked by spiders and she's dazed. <gasps> Barley seems to have some unexpected visitors. Spiders? I freaking hate spiders. Oh no. Ew just like fell from the ceiling. Oh my God, what do we do? And she's dazed, so she's not thinking straight. Oh my goodness, this poor girl. They can't kill you, right? She did get bit. Am I gonna be spider girl? It's so eerie whenever something does happen here. There's like a weird noise that happens beforehand. The reaction is always so dramatic. All right, we're gonna quickly eat this and then go to bed. It's 1 a.m. Oh, it's Winterfest. Nothing bad can happen on Winterfest, right? For breakfast today, I'm gonna make her make some fruit salad. Not honestly feeling the fire today, so hopefully we can avoid that. Oh, and also, I love how normally people will complain that I clutter my counters too much, but look at her prepping in all that clutter. Right on top of it, just right in it. <laughs> I think since it's Winterfest, I'm gonna invite my sisters back over. Raul can come too. I don't want her to be alone on Winterfest. Although, I can imagine they're not too happy about the get-together being here at my house. They literally are annoyed. They're like, why? Why here? An elf! Look at this little fox wagging his tail, hunting that rabbit. Oh my god, there's a fight over over here, that fox really was hunting the rabbit. How do I break it up? How do I? Oh no. I got a pop-up saying a rabbit known to the household has died. That was our rabbit friend that we gave the berry to. Oh my gosh. I hate you, fox. You're tacky and I hate you. Rim, 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 rim.
I would imagine that just like the sisters, he's probably like, I don't really want to leave you here by yourself. Like, are you sure you don't want to go and like stay with me? Stay with your sisters? Like, why are you staying here? What do you have to prove? But I feel like we have a stubborn sim on our hands. You, you. Shoo, stop. One thing's for sure though, I will be damned if another rabbit dies on my watch. Yeah, you get out of here. Oh, I feel bad. It worked though. I saved this one. I'm going to get them to come out here on the swing set. I haven't seen this interaction yet, but look how cute it is. I want to fast forward to like actual nighttime so that the lights are all lit up. Oh God. And Santa's here. Santa, this is not the house you want to visit. I promise. It's so funny because he always overstays his welcome in The Sims 4. You know what? I'm going to lighten the mood here a little bit. I'm going to buy them a Christmas tree. We can put that over there. I might buy some presents like here. And then we can just have a cute little like friend Christmas. We can also decorate with this like drink thing over here. And I would make a fancy dinner, but my track record with cooking isn't so good. We're going to fill that fountain up with some juice. Despite what's been happening to the sim, she's had a pretty positive outlook the entire time. I feel like part of her is enjoying living in this weird house. Oh God, the Lothario's adopted a child. God bless. Now we're just opening presents. <gasps> no, not Santa. Santa's getting attacked by bees. Oh my <laughs> Oh my God, <laughs> tell me she's not amused. Oh, I'm so sorry. I mean, at least you've got a lot of padding there. I'm honestly surprised we haven't seen any like ghosts around or anything yet. Raul is heading out, but I'm assuming he's feeling uncomfortable leaving her here in this crazy house. You know what we can do is give our residence keys. So if anything ever happens, you can come and check on me using my key. It's probably safer that way, right? There you go, Raul. They're definitely close enough friends so we can trust him with that. We're gonna go to bed. It's getting pretty late. I put out the fireplace. Wait. She is feeling spooked from ghosts. Although I'm kind of doing like a quick look around. I don't see any ghosts. It says unwanted otherworldly activity is unnerving enough to deny the possibility of a restful sleep. She seems to be sleeping pretty uh, peacefully there. Wait, what was that? <gasps> there is a ghost. Who is that? Dennis Kim. This is a sim that I've never seen before. My hamster is taking off to space and he's cleaning my barbecue and haunting it. Okay. Anyone else? Or is Dennis our only ghost here? <gasps> he never left. Raul didn't leave. He's staying the night and there's a ghost outside and I'm about to get attacked by spiders again. Oh no, that is gonna freak him out. Hello. <gasps> and there's an earthquake. <laughs> Get out of bed, get out of bed. What's happening? Oh, oh my God, a volcanic eruption. Is everyone okay? And uh, while I'm getting attacked by spiders at the same time. No, God, please. This is a nightmare. This is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> is everyone okay? What's going on downstairs? There are lava rocks around me and she's happy. She has the audacity to be happy right now. Downstairs, my oven has broken. My sink is broken and the ghost is terrified of all of the people. This house is so scary that the ghost is even like, nah, I don't want to be here. <laughs> Sorry, Dennis. I really do apologize. You should probably pick a better house to haunt, honestly. But hey, <laughs> should I send her down to investigate? What if I try and touch this? Try to touch? This is stupid. I'm going to do it. The mood let down here says that was a powerful eruption. Barley is lucky to have witnessed and survived such an event. Raul is just standing here like, why did I have to be the one on grocery delivery duty that day? He just took a drink out of there with his hands. I don't blame you, buddy. These have kind of calmed down. What if I break them open? Is there going to be something cool in there? <gasps> we found a peach. <laughs> okay. I think that might actually be a crystal. Oh, and limestone. I could actually use this to my advantage and become rich this way. These don't sell for too much here. $18.50 for the other. But I mean, it dropped a whole bunch of these around my house. So maybe I could break them open and sell these rocks at least. Oh, I just noticed the graveyard back there. That's great. <laughs> Look how nonchalant she is. Raul is running around. <laughs> He's so freaked out. <laughs> no, Barley is scared. Why? Who knows? Irrational danger. Pardon me? I don't think it's irrational at this point. You know, I feel like you are completely validated in your fears. He is so freaked out. He's trying to like cool himself down at the pool. After that night, I can imagine that at this point, Point, he is begging. He's like, please get out of here. This is not safe. Sell the house, take the money. It really isn't worth it. And she is so stubborn, but honestly, I think he's speaking truth here. I think we gotta at least consider moving out of this house. Freezing to death. Oh my God, you both need to come inside right now. Barley is afraid of fire, so she can't even light this. He's not afraid though. So he's lighting the fire for us. That would actually be really nice if I wasn't so sure that it was gonna kill us. You know what? I'm gonna go apologize. He is literally being such a good friend to us looking out. And although I know she doesn't want to leave. Maybe she'll agree to let him stay here. I can imagine company in this situation would be kind of a nice thing. We gotta hire someone to come and fix our stove now. There's 
smoke outside my window. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna end this here. I don't know if she's gonna stay living here or not. I am sort of invested in this friendship now and like watching everything go down has been really entertaining to me. And after all of this, our Sim is left feeling very inspired. <laughs> she's gonna write some crazy books. I know it. I've kind of been enjoying doing just like one-off gameplay videos here and there every once in a while, but we could definitely revisit this. This has been interesting. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.